Bora, Zu. Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today I'm going to go through the solo to um, Waterfall by Stone Roses. Obviously I've already put the video up of me playing it, so this is just me going through the solo. A couple of little notes on the performance. So, capo fourth fret again. Um, and also, just to say, I'm taking kind of the main guitar line throughout the solo. Uh, but it's, it's a couple of different guitars. Um, the first one in particular is an acoustic guitar. It sounds like it might even be a 12 string acoustic. Um, but I'm going to play it on my electric, and then the second part isn't electric, and I'm going to play it with the same tones. So honestly, you know, if you were doing it live, you would do the first one with a cleaner tone, and then the second one you'd put on a much sharper distortion. Bridge pickup, you know, particularly with this bit, it's definitely bridge pickup. All that stuff, but a bit more distortion than I've got on. So just, you know, just, just have a little bit of a play around with it, but just so you know, first bit's an acoustic guitar, so it's gonna have a tone that's, you know, obviously a clean tone. And I'm not doing the wah-wah guitar bit. Um, it's just because it's really, it's just a, it's a couple of depressions. It's really just very, very quick. So I'm not doing that bit. I'm doing the main kind of guitar line. Okay. Now I've explained that. Let's crack on and actually go through it. So it might take a while to go through. There's a lot of repetition, but it is quite a long solo. So we start with this riff. So this is the um, acoustic guitar line. We start with an open E string. Okay, which is a, now a G sharp note, obviously, because of where the capo is. Then I'm going to play second fret on the D string, first finger, open G string. Then on the D string, I'm going to play second fret again. And then I'm going to play second fret on the G string. I just flatten my finger down, still or just first finger, then an open G string. So. That's the first little bit. So open E, second fret D, open G. Second fret on the D, then the G, then an open G. So it's all, all around there. Then we end that part of the riff with a hammer on on the D string, then an open G. It's not a fast hammer on, it's quite a slow hammer on. Like that, okay? The second part, I'm gonna start with the third fret E string, which I'm gonna play with my middle finger. Then I'm gonna play that second fret D string again. Open uh, G, sorry. Then open D. Okay, then 2nd fret G, then open G. Okay, so 3rd fret E, 2nd fret D, open G, open D, 2nd fret G, open G. And to end it, we're gonna play 4th fret on the D, open G, 4th fret on the D. First lick again, just the same as before. Lick, riff, mm, probably, mm, I don't know. It's exactly the same anyway as the first one. And then with the fourth um, part of this acoustic riff, we go back and start on that third fret E string. Then we go open G. Then we're gonna basically walk down a scale. Fourth fret on the D string. Second fret on the D string. Open D. 4th fret on the A, okay, and then that's really the end of that riff. And that's where the next guitar will come in on the next strum, okay. So that's the first bit. Let me just play that through really, really slowly so you can kind of see it and hear it. Hopefully I didn't say it too quickly for you. But um, if not, obviously just you can just break it down and you'll be able to see where I'm playing. Okay, and that's the first little section of the solo. Then we're gonna get onto the real main bulk of the solo. Lots of repetition going on here. Okay, so get ready to play a lot of these D power chords. So we're gonna play first finger's gonna play second fret G string, ring finger's gonna play the third fret on the B string, and we're gonna deaden that E string. I'm gonna deaden that E string with my thumb, but I'm gonna strum the other four strings. So technically it's a, it's a D5 slash A. It's technically the name of the chord. And that's the first chord we hit with a distorted guitar, okay? 
Then I'm going to go up to five on the uh, B string, slide in, then three on the B string, then back to that D5 slash A. Okay, so we start with the chord, the D chord, then we're going to go five, three, then the D chord. Then we do exactly the same thing again. D chord, five, three, D chord. Okay, nice and simple little warm up to get us going. Next thing we're going to do is just a D power chord here. So it's going to be open D string, second fret G string. And what I'm going to do is I'm slightly going to curl that G string. Not too much because it sounds really bad if you do too much, just a little bit. Then I'm going to play open D and open G together. Which is technically a, a G5 slash D, but it just sounds cool. Okay, then I'm going to play second fret D string, and again I'm going to give it a curl. I'm going to pull it down as well, I'm not going to push it up, I'm going to pull it down. And then I'm going to do open D. So it's a curl on the second fret, then an open D. So it's... And that's a really cool sounding bit because there's not a lot else going on in the song. You just really, that sticks out that little bit. Then I'm going to play on the A string, second fret to third fret, hammer on, then open D string, then the D5 slash A chord. So that little section. Then I'm going to play 2nd fret on the D string again, little curl, open D, then the hammer on on the 2nd fret to 3rd fret A string, open D, D5 slash A chord. Okay, so it's just the second half of that first riff we just repeat basically. So, this is what we've got so far. So if I, I'm going to go all the way through the first four bars kind of, of this, the distorted guitar part basically. Repeats. Okay, don't feel the need to put your hand that far away as I'm doing. I'm just doing that so you can hopefully see my fingers. I'm trying to get my middle finger out of the way so you can see those curls. Next bit, I'm going to play 2nd fret again on the D string, another little curl, then I'm going to play 4th fret on the D, like that, then on the D string still I'm going to play 5, 4, 2, 0, like that, another little curl on that D note again. So that's the real notes on that little curl every time I hit that too. I actually vibrato that fourth fret as well. Obviously feel free, you don't have to do that with your pinky, but I just naturally do. I've got quite small hands as well, so it makes my life a lot easier to use my little finger quite a lot. Then we're gonna do this hammer on on the A string again. Second fret to third fret, open D string. Then we're going to strum the, the D5 slash A after that, but we, I'll get onto that bit in a sec. So that, you know, that whole section that we've just done, we will ba basically effectively repeat um, a large section of that again, but in a slightly different way. But that really is almost the whole solo in terms of the actual the notes we're going to play kind of thing. Okay, it's just, that's the bit to really kind of get used to. Okay, now we're up to the bit with a bit more strumming. So it's going to be... So that's, just as I said, the, the second fret, third fret, open D, which I've already said. And then we're going to play that D5 slash A, and we're going to play it four times, and I'm going to go down, down, up, up. And at every single time, I'm trying to staccato that. So what I'm doing is, I'm, you might see my fingers flexing like that. That's basically me pushing down and pulling off so that I'm killing those notes. And I'm also using my middle finger as a deadening tool. Uh, a lot of people will right hand mute this. And I'm doing that as well, but I naturally left hand mute as well. So I'm doing actually doing both, okay? Um, so it's gonna be bump, 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 bump. That's the rhythm. 
down, down, up, up, okay? And then we're gonna do the hammer on again, second, to, um, second fret to third fret A string, open D string. You know, so we've got. So basically it's gonna be the same picking pattern, down, down, up, up, but there's a pause after we hit that open D string. And I actually mute with my right hand there, you can't see me doing it obviously, but that's what I'm doing. Can you hear that slight pause? That's a right hand mute, basically. Um, and that just help, helps me actually stay in time. As much as muting the strings, because um, that's how it sounds, I'm also, that's, that's like a hit, so I can go, okay, that's the beat, and then I'm in time for the next little bit, okay? Um, we're gonna do the same uh, idea for a third time. We're actually gonna use the same rhythm we used the first time. So it's gonna be, again, we do that hammer on, second fret to third fret on the A string, open D, and then we're gonna go down, down, up, up, but no pause. So let me just do that section, okay? Um, so you can, you can hear it. So the first and the third are exactly the same rhythm, um, and the, the middle one's effectively the same rhythm, but I hit that one beat pause to make it sound slightly different, okay? So if I try and do it slowly. So there's that hammer on, we do every time. Down, down, up, up. Pause, down, down, up, up. I almost paused then, I had to really stop myself. Um, but there's no pause on that third one, okay? Then we're gonna do that hammer on again, second fret on the A string to third fret on the A string in an open D. And then we hit just that D5 slash A chord. Okay, this is, this is kind of the part of the solo, you know, that I feel like when I'm playing it, that I'm halfway, I'm actually way past halfway really, but um, this is where I always feel like nice and relaxed and halfway. So what I'd suggest if you want to learn this solo is, um, I'm sure there's probably some good tabs on, online, but if not, what I did, I've, I wrote it down in my book, is you just have to take your time just making sure you get each bit written down, okay? So what I've had to do before on people's videos, is basically just uh, you know pause it, write down the tab, and then go back and listen to them playing it. So you might have to do that with this solo, because this is much longer than most of the solos I've done. Um, although it's not actually difficult, it's, it's actually one of the easier solos I've done, I think. Um, but it's, uh, it's just long, that's the real trick with this one. So, get back in, we're gonna do this riff again. So it's second fret D string with a curl. Again, I'm gonna pull it down open D string, and then hammer on 2nd fret to 3rd fret, A string, open D. Strum that D5 slash A chord. Then I'm gonna do this riff again. So that's gonna be 2nd fret on the D string with a slight curl, 4th fret on the D string, bit of vibrato, then 5, 4, 2, 0. Then on the A string, I'm gonna do the hammer on, second fret to third fret, open D, and I'm gonna start doing some more strumming again. Exactly the same rhythm as first time. So it's just exactly the same again. Uh, and then we even end it with the same riff. We do another second fret to third fret, hammer on on the A string, open D, and then a D5 slash A. Okay, so that's, the two times we do that, it's exactly the same. Sounds really, 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 really cool. Um, and then we end the kind of section that's like this by strumming the D5 slash A again. We're gonna go fifth fret on the B string, third fret on the B, just like we did before. And then we've got that D chord, then we strum the D chord again. Fifth fret. So, as we come out, D4, strum again, okay, and that's effectively the end of the solo, then we're really into the outro, but there's no you know, actual break, but what he effectively does here is there's loads of different guitars now, there's three or four different guitars, overdubs all over the place. Um, so I'm just going to do the main riff that's going on underneath, which is... V. 
very, very, very similar to the intro riff, um, just slightly different basically, just to make it complicated for us. That D, D shape again, that, that D5 shape again, open D string, and then we're gonna pick up B string, G string, open D, then the hand's gonna have to come off. I'm gonna do two open G strings, then on the D string, I'm gonna hammer on from open to four, then another open G. And that's it, you just cycle through that riff. You know, just that for ages. And he does actually do some D strum. Sorry, I hit the E, I hit the E string there, very embarrassing. That sounds better. Um, to end it, just a couple of those. I mean, if you were if you're playing along with the track, you can you can feel it. It's happened six six eight times. Oh, I just realised I haven't checked. Um, I'll say eight because that's normal, but uh, it might be six um, of, of doing that riff, and then you just strum the D chord at the end. But um, if you're if you're gigging it, you'd probably work out an ending, um, and you'd probably just end on a D chord. Yeah, because you could do be how you'd end the song you know so so you practice how you know whichever kind of way you want I mean practicing a song with a fade out is always tricky but it's often what we have to do anyway so not too long actually that's only a 16 minute video so I'm quite impressed with that um, yeah so uh, hopefully I didn't go through it too quickly uh, this there's a lot of repetition and there's a lot really of just playing it that that chord. So the main thing is it's a D5 chord, so you're going to play 2nd fret G string with your 1st finger, and you're going to play that 3rd fret on the B string with your ring finger, and then we're going to deaden that E string down there, so it's a D5 chord. But then we're also going to play the open A string, which makes it a D5 slash A. And I'm going to deaden the other E string with my thumb. That's what my thumb's doing up there. My middle finger's just... I'll just get that way, it looks like I'm swearing, but I'm not. That's my deadening middle finger. Anyway. Um, and that's the main kind of chord of this piece, and it's actually the main chord of the song if you think the main riff. I've completely forgotten the main riff, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. So <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the main thing to practice with that solo, is just get that D chord. And, and there's not a lot of other notes going on, so hopefully I haven't, haven't gone through it too quickly. I say if you're gigging it, you know, if it's, if it's just you playing guitar, you have to then do that acoustic bit. I would, you know, you don't have... That still sounds fine with the, with a little bit of distortion. And then you probably crank up more distortion then for the actual, um, the next section once you hit the... You know, roll my volume up. You can hear it dig in a bit and, and get a little bit more distortion is what I do. I can't really do it for recording though because it's just too loud. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I waffled on for two minutes at the end, so that's standard. Uh, hopefully that helps. Um, just put in the comments, you know, if, if it was too fast or something for you. Um, and I can just go through any particular bit slow, just put up a short video or something like that. But ho hopefully you guys will be okay. I'm sure you guys are, will be fine with it. It's a, it's a great solo, and there's no reason, if you can play the main riff, there's no reason you can't play this solo as well and get through the whole song, you know. And this, you definitely should do. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you do, if you do play it, you know, put a video up on YouTube and put a link of it in the in the comments, and I'll go and watch it. I've had I've had um, a couple so far, which is really really cool. Someone tweeted me one, and someone put a link in one of my videos of them doing um, solos from my videos, which is really really cool. Um, as a guitar teacher, you know that's what you want, really. Um, as usual, uh, I really appreciate it if you can uh, like the video, if you comment on the bottom, if you just say great or just say hello or you know do this song, all of that's really, really good. I really appreciate it. Um, if you just subscribe to the channel, it's really, really good as well. I really appreciate it. Uh, share the video as well, It'd be cool. And I'll see you guys uh, again soon. I think I might flick back to a couple more Oasis songs because um, there's been a couple of requests for some rhythm parts and then we'll see where life takes me from there. I'll see you guys soon, bye bye. <laughs>